Hi there, thanks for checking out our repair channel. This is just going to be a little show and tell an explanation of this unit. This is a um, uh, Parmac Mark 7. Uh, they sold the heck out of these things. There's a lot of them out there. Uh, this is a 110, 120 volt unit uh, that Parmac used to make. The Mark 8 is the comparable model that they have out now. This is a uh, still when they made uh, metal cased units. Um, has a digital display on it. it says 30 mile range. Um, the 30 miles is just a uh, best case scenario, a single strand of clean fence. So uh, that's what that means. So if you start adding wires, you know, multi strand, or start getting grass on the fence, you you know start cutting that mileage down. So, um, but this is a pretty good unit. We get get a lot of these in here. They they are worth fixing typically. Um, all the parts still available for them. So uh, anything that ever goes wrong in it, you know, you can still get it fixed. So if you've got one of these things, we'd be happy to work on it for you. I mean, we work on a lot of Parmax. I mean, there's the Mark 8s, there's the Mark 7, the, the older ones are Mark 6 and Mark 5 and Mark 4s. But uh, there's SC3s, SC2s, SC5s, SC4s. The range, the big, biggest unit they make is called the Range Master. It's like a 6 plus dual unit, something like that. Um, but it has a, does have a digital display on there. And we're going to go ahead and power it up. Everything, but uh, and, and show you the volt reading and everything we get out of it. Um, so if you've got a broken Parmac unit of some sort, or you got a broken brain in general of another model, another brand, um, look us up. Our website is fencerfixer.com, and uh, fencer and fixer is both spelled on F as in Frank. There's a link in the description area down below. If you click on that, it takes you straight to the site. But um, you can uh, get a hold of us that way, or just box up and ship it here we do give free quotes and uh, we do put a 18 month warranty of it on the repairs that we do and uh so if you've got one and we get in here and get it going we'll give you a quote if you say okay let's fix it then we'll proceed from there to finish it off for you all right let's power this thing up so it says 13.5 now one thing about these display things on these Parmax. They're kind of a gimmick, gimmicky kind of thing. It's just 13.5, which is fence voltage kilo. It says it's supposed to be 13,500 volts. Of all, every Parmac that I've ever worked on had a digital display. It, it never, I've got four, three, four different uh, testers. And uh, none of them have ever read that high. Uh, it, it is a nice thing to have because if it's a higher, not high number, you know that, okay, I'm working fine. If the number starts dropping, uh, out on the, when it's hooked up to the fence, then you know, okay, I got problems. So it does have a function to it, but we're going to turn it back on. Getting 8.5, 8.6. So a little, little over about eight and a half KB. So about eight, a little over 8,000 volts coming out of it. Um, now, now I can put another tester on there and get the same reading, give or take. I can put another test, another even another tester, and still get around eight to nine. Um, so I, I've never had any tester read exactly what this read. This it always reads higher than what it's actually putting out. Um, so it is kind of a gimmicky thing. But um, now, if you get a short on your fence, so if you walk by one day and your fence is show, your unit is showing thirteen or whatever. And then, like, say a week goes by, and I'm like, I'm going to walk by and see what my charger's doing. Walk by, and now it's showing, like, four or six or whatever. Then, you know, okay, I've got something dragging my charger down, typically. And the only way to know if it's the charger or the fence is just um, turn it off, unhook your ground and your fence from it, turn it back on. If the number goes from, say, six up to 12 plus, then, you know, okay, my charger's fine. I've got to shorten my fence. So I'm going to – got to load – a uh, big resistor here. This is a 150 ohm resistor. Uh, so we're going to put this across there. The closer you get to zero ohms, which is a dead short, the worse of a short. So this is going to drag it down pretty hard. So, so you're walking by one day, it reads 13,000. You're like, oh, all right, good. It's going good. And you walk by a week later. Now you're reading, you know, five, five and a half, or, you know, this is reading five. You're like, okay, what is going on here? So you turn the unit off, unhook your fence and ground, plug it back in, and it jumps back up to, uh, you know, 13 or 14, 12 or whatever it's supposed to read that you normally like to see. Then you know, okay, my charger's fine. I got a problem with the fence. So 
So it does, that is the nice thing about that. That's the that's the one thing I do like about the digital display on the Parmax is for that reason alone. But it, it's never putting out thirteen thousand volts. That this it just they don't they don't put out that much. But it does ha it does have its function and features of telling you what's going on with your fence conditions. So some brands have digital displays like this. Some have lights that flash. Like Gallagher's have like red, yellow, and green lights that flash on it on some of their models. So if it goes up into the green, you know, okay, I'm good. If it's falling to yellow, okay, I got a little bit of a short. Falls in the red, I got a bad short, you know, that kind of thing. And you can do the same thing with those. If you walk by one day on a Gallagher unit and, and it's showing green one day, and next week you walk by, it's showing in the yellow or the red, like, okay, what's going on? And before you start running and checking your fence, just un unplug the unit or unhook it from the battery, however it's powered up. Uh, I didn't uh, take your fence and ground loose from the unit, plug it back in or hook it back up to the battery. And if the lights went from a red or yellow and they go white right back up into the green, you know, okay, my charge is probably okay. Uh, I've got a bad, you know, some shorts in the fence somewhere, some bunch of grass, uh, you know, a deer hopped the fence, caught its leg on the wire and broke it loose against the T-post. Um, something like that, or you got a bad underground cable under a gate somewhere that's got pinched or cut and it's leaking to the ground. Um, it could be anything. Uh, and then that's the time you want to either go and start trekking your fence real quick, do a real quick run through and listen for any pops somewhere. If you've got a big enough unit, sometimes you can hear it pop against the fence or against the post somewhere or against some, something metal. Uh, or get one of your, uh, get a good fault finder, uh, fence fault finder um, tester that will uh uh, point in the direction of the fault and if you got multi-strain wire that's even a little more tougher to do but if you got one of those fault finders you can check each wire individually see which one's at the highest amp reading and then follow that line and that's the one that's got the bad short on it somewhere so but uh well if you've got a parmac mark 7 or another parmac unit that needs uh looked at we'll be happy to take a peek at it for you we give uh free quotes 18 month warranty. We work on all brands of all ages. And uh, there's our website right there, fencerfixer.com. Uh, like I said, there's a link in the description tab down below. We also work on cattle scales and low bars and stuff for people. We work on the Gallagher, the True Test, and the uh, Taperi's and other brands kind of uh, slowly getting their feet wet here in the States. And um, at yeah, Taperi. And then there's uh, Digitronics, or uh, Digistar, Waytronics is another one. Um, we do also work on the Gallagher EID tag readers, portable, you know, handheld ones, and uh, stationary with the big panels. Uh, do those as, as well. So if you know somebody needing some help, share this video to them. Say, hey, I got to find a guy that works on Parmac stuff. I mean, we've got a lot of videos out there on the Parmac uh, stuff that we've worked on, but uh, we do work on a handful of these things. We get we get them in uh, monthly. I don't know if every day or every week, but we get, we get Parmax units in probably every week, but we get a handful of these older variation Parmax uh, every month. So um, be happy to work on one for you. We treat everybody the same, you know, treat these things like they're our own. So we always run through their paces and um, make sure that whatever we're uh, fixing is the right fix. And we put them through a, um, put them through their paces, let them run, for 24 hours typically before we call them good if they're still running after 24 hours with a load uh we're we're good to go uh for some reason if it quits on us overnight then we know okay we got something else going wrong and that doesn't happen that often but occasionally something maybe not a parmac but maybe another brand that quit on us overnight that seems to be because something not quite right somewhere so before we even call you all the tests have have been done and uh, they're all good to go once they leave and if something happens in shipping or after it gets there and uh, you know then we can talk about that but uh, that's why there's a 18 month warranty and everything that we work on but until next time we do another video of how one works or the features of one or how to repair one we will see you guys later